So now let's work around with something called a cloth belt. So cloth belt is uh, something which holds the uh, cloth simulation so it does not actually shrill off. So I'm going to take something uh, uh, like a spear in this case. So I ha I'm going to turn this into a cloth. So I'm going to press NB so that you can start seeing the divisions. Let me just add in uh, a bit of segments here, like 32 segments right there, so that you can really see the effect right there. So you can see that this is the cloth object right here. So I'm going to convert this into a cloth object by converting this into a polygon by pressing C. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go into the simulation tag right here and I'm going to turn this into a cloth right there, just like this. So now once I do that, what I want to do is, let's say I want to set this point. So you can see that if I were to play this, everything actually goes down. I don't want that. I want something to hold the object in right here. So I need to use something called a cloth belt right here. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to bring in an object, something like a cube would do. So I'm just gonna bring this up just like that. So I'm just gonna bring this up. I'm really going to scale the size down. So I'm just going to scale the size uh, down a bit. So there you go. So let me just get this out. Let me bring another cube right here. Let me just scale this down according to a big right here and pull this up over here. So I want the uh, I want the cube right here to hold up the spear. So I'm going to convert this into a polygon as well. And I'm going to add in something uh, over here uh, called the uh, simulation tag and I'm going to turn this into a cloth collider just like this. So on the sphere what I want to do is I want to add in a simulation tag called the uh, call the cloth belt but before that I'm going to go over here on to the point selection tool I'm going to select all of these over here just like this and over here I'm just going to drag this out right over here and I'm going to drag it everything. So I'm just going to drag all these things right over here, just like this from the side and then this, okay, just hold it in, hold shift, not control, shift, all right, and then drag it out. So I seem to be holding uh, control there in a bit. So I'm going to convert, connect all of these points onto this cube right here. So once I selected everything, I'm going to go over here onto the tags and I'm going to go into simulation tags and I'm going to enable cloth belt right here. And once the belt is on, as you can see, so you can see that I can set the point right here. So now that's the cloth belt. I want to set it on cube right here. So I need to set the cube right over uh, where the points are. So I'm going to go over here onto the cube right there. I'm just going to drag this down just like this. I'm going to drag the cube down over here. I'm going to go to the object mode, drag it down. I'm just going to expand this a bit as well, just like this. So this is how I need to uh, link up everything. So on the spear right over here, so on the spear from the cube, I already selected everything out. I'm going to press set. And now once I do that, if I were to play this, you can see that nothing happens because like I forgot to uh, select out the points right over here. So I'm going to go over here and select out the points again over here. So I'm just going to create a new layer out here and then uh, bring out the object right over here. I'm going to bring out the new object, new layer out of the object and I'm just going to hide this a bit. So I'm going to go to the sphere. I'm going to go over here onto the points right over here and then select out the points then again because sometimes the error happens. So I'm just going to select out all of the points right over here and then I'm going to connect it on to the cube. So I'm going to go over here. All right. So I miss it. Yeah. Okay. So sphere. I'm going to go over here on to the cloth collider right over here. I'm going to go to the attribute and I'm going to set it out just like this. And you can see that it has been set. The color has been seen. So I'm going to enable the layer back again and let's see how everything looks like. So if I were to enable the layer back again, you can see that it has been connected right over there. So if I were to play this out, you can see that the ball is sticking on over here onto the cloth glider just like this. So I'm just going to bring in a subdivision surface over here as well and bring it, bring the cube under it so you can see that it is soft. So I'm going to press NA and you can see that this is how it looks like. So this shape right here, this uh, cube right here is holding it in. So if I were to move it left or right, you can see that it really affects everything else. So I'm just going to select the whole object, move it around over here, and you can see that this is how it affects the cloth out here. So you can do this with any of the shape right here. And there you go. So you can see that it's really smooth and everything is going well. So I'm going to go over here onto the uh, spear, right? Uh, onto the spear right here, onto the 
um, section I'm going to go on to its attribute let's see so I can increase the level of gravity so that the pull is more or I can decrease the level of gravity over here as well so if I were to press minus 5 it's much more or less I can inc increase the drag right here I can also add in some wind over here and I actually need to increase out the wind strength so you can see that everything is swir swirling around let me just go back to the beginning as well so you can see that the swirling well wind is helping it out just like this you can change the wind direction as well onto the y direction so it is more upwards I can change the direction z as well so you really control the wind as well just like this there's also the wind turbulence speed so it really now everything is getting crazy you don't want to increase this very much as you can see so i'm just gonna have something like value of three and press play and you'll be able to see that there's the wind turbulence right there just like that so that is the swirling of the wind four is more of a strength right there you can see that that's the wind turbulence right there uh, increase this a bit and there's the four the four option and there you go the wind turbulence and everything else is here turbulence strength let's say only one so there's just a bit of a turbulence spin so you can see that everything is moving around just like that I can also lift out from the wind and I can also have self repulsion you can see that that is how it works around that so I'm gonna have just one centimeter of self repulsion right there and you can see that it is repulsing out everything you can also increase the force from the self repulsion you can see that everything is moving out and it can also improve the damping so it looks more squiggled right there let me just disable this out as well so it goes to the default option just like that so that is how you can work around with this you can also have anti-gravity right here so it actually goes up instead of down right here so minus 20 right there it actually goes down just like this so there you go you have the setting just like that so this is how everything works out so you have uh, the spear right about here and then uh, it has been converted into a cloth and the cloth belt actually holds everything down just like that so you can go to the cube move everything around just like that move it up down and it sticks to this object so you can animate this out and get the result you want so that is how you can use the cloth belt inside of cinema 4d hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe